from coast to coast to coast, it is difficult to find a city anywhere in this country where rents are not high. But while affordability is the main concern for a lot of people, the situation facing international students is even more dire. A week into the school year, stories are emerging of everything from predatory landlords to cases of outright discrimination. It's something that our next guest, Vanch Zuckerala, has experienced firsthand. He's our guest in studio this morning. Thanks for being here. Uh, thank you for having me over. So you came to Canada as an international student from India back in 2019. Yep. After a lot of searching, you did find an apartment, but you say the landlord quickly became overbearing. Can you describe what that means, what your experience was like? So I came in 2019, and after moving here, I wasn't really a fan of living in the residence because there was shared accommodation and not shared washrooms, and I was not a big fan of it. So I decided to go out, look for an apartment close to university, which would be a cheaper option as well. But since I, it was like September, it was pretty late, and mm -hmm. I ended up finding a unit close to the university in the basement, which was owned by a South Asian person. And my parents were comfortable because they were of the same descent, right? Mm -hmm. Why not? So when I started living there, my major problems were, which I figured out after like two weeks in, there was cameras in the living area of the house. Oh. And later or sooner I realized that the house was illegally made. That basement did not have an exit that was needed for the fire escape. And furthermore, that little basement had four bedrooms and one bathroom, which was being shared by four people at like all the times. Mm -hmm. And laundry was only open on Saturdays and Sundays because it's cheaper. Mm -hmm. So you can't do laundry then. You can't have people over after 9 p.m. You can't be drinking in the house. Mm -hmm. The person started to like expect us to live up, up, up to their expectations and up to their lifestyles, which is not what we signed up for because we were students and we wanted to come and live our lives and study. Mm -hmm. You were paying for an independent apartment. Exactly. So it was more like you get a basement, you actually ended up paying for an independent room. So you actually rent out a room from the landlord in the house and they rent out individual rooms. And what was your rent at the time? At 2019 for a basement room, it was 560. 560. At the beginning of 2020, you then moved into a second unit. Yes. Uh, this one, the landlord was absent. So what was it like there? So a lot of university areas have these housing markets where the house is basically owned by the, or rented by an agency and that agency would further rent out the rooms to the students mm -hmm. and they would rent out independent rooms. So you would never actually get to see the landlord, but you would only reach out to the agency and be like, hey, I'm looking for a room or reach out to that person. So the next house I lived in had 10 rooms and it was one kitchen. That was the major part. So it's pretty hard. 10, ten rooms, one kitchen. Yeah. 10 people sharing one kitchen. That's the hard part, right? Yeah. And thankfully, I had a private washroom, but not all the other people did. Here, the landlord was not present altogether. Even if we had issues in the house, we had to text him multiple times to get it fixed. Even for the basic issues, we had to text him multiple times. Yeah. And obviously, when three people or four people are using one washroom, yeah. it's probably going to get ruined pretty fast. It's going to get. Sure. It's going to so, need maintenance uh, a, a lot volume. sooner, right? Vanch, I have a question for you. Mm -hmm. Some of the issues that you've described are facing a lot of students, whether they're from in, within Canada or not. Yeah. Housing it is it a crunch, bad landlords are everywhere. Mm -hmm. But what is it about your experience that makes you feel like there's something that's more targeted for international students versus domestic students? So what happens, this is something that I realized while I was studying as well, because a lot of power, the concept of power and society is something you understand while you're living here as well. Mm -hmm. You see, the landlord used to threaten me like, oh, if you guys do anything, I'm going to call the police and tell them you're doing illegal activities here. So you get a background problem and you can't clear your permanent residence check. Right. So he would threaten international students like that. Furthermore, international students do not know their rights, do not know what they can actually do against the landlord if they are being violated. Because they're so new, they have no idea. Hmm. So the landlords use this as a way to make sure that they get what they are the, what they want because at the end of the day the student does not know their right and they're the easiest ones to target and especially because they're scared and away from family and don't really have anybody here. What would you like to see done to help anybody who's facing some of the similar challenges that you are? Well to begin with I genuinely feel like that university should put up a subsidy for like housing market especially for international students because international students are not just paying the regular fees they are paying the fees four times more mm -hmm. and even then they have to look out for a housing market to give you an example i have moved into an apartment recently mm -hmm. but the room i was living at in the university close by yeah. has been almost rented for two and a half the times the price i rented it right now because it's that crazy right people are paying 900 dollars for a basement room with shared washrooms just because there is no space 
Mancha, I want to thank you for coming on today. This is highlights an issue that's happening right across the country. Thanks for being with us. Anytime. Coming hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.